Welcome back to Suncoast FYI, I'm Cassie Knoll. Greco Medical Group is a three-generation medicinal family specializing in regenerative medical procedures since 1998. There's a reason I'm not a doctor because I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> and joining us today is Dr. Jonathan Greco, so welcome to the show. Good morning. It's good to have you here. It's great to be here. And tell me a little bit about what regenerative medicine is. Well, regenerative medicine is essentially using our own body to heal itself. Okay. Uh, probably the best uh, example of regenerative medicine is something we take for granted all the time. Like, all of us have had cuts. The bleeding stops, the scab forms, a week or two it falls off, it's healed. Yeah. It's one of those things we take for granted. Um, but the very complex things are going on there. Mm -hmm. When you bleed, the platelets are released in your blood, start this cascade, stops the blood, a mesh forms in there that binds everything, and then these factors are released, or messengers, that tell everything else what to do. It tells your skin cells to regenerate and blood vessels to regenerate and nerves regenerate. Um, but on a, on a broader level, um, I like to think about, did you ever hear that we're only really about seven years old? No, I haven't heard that before. <laughs> well, we actually are because our body's constantly breaking ourselves down and rebuilding ourselves. Oh, okay. Like skin. Skin uh -huh. will last several weeks and it wears off and it gets regenerated. Yeah. Cells that are in our intestines, in our stomach, they only last a few hours. Very harsh environment. Yeah. Um, our bones are constantly being built and broken down, built and broken down. And that takes about seven years. And that's probably the longest oh, uh, okay. something is. So that's where you get that seven-year number. The only, the only thing that is not regenerated are, are retinas, which I always find kind of That's interesting. interesting. The windows to our soul are the only thing that don't regenerate. <laughs> that we actually really need is not regenerating. <laughs> yeah, so, so when you think of it, like for example in bone, uh, bone is constantly being built and broken down, but pathology occurs, problems occur, mm -hmm. like for example osteoporosis. Yeah. Bone is being built, it's being torn down, built, torn down, but eventually we're not building as much, yeah. so we lose it and mm -hmm. our bones become weak and brittle. Yeah. We're trying, with regenerative medicine, we're trying to reverse that process. Mm -hmm. For example, at Stanford, they found a, a protein called a Wnt protein, WNT, mm -hmm. that uh, will help to rebuild bone. And that's a natural protein. Wow. Um, we use platelet-rich plasma because... Yeah, tell me a little bit about that. Platelet-rich plasma, or the, everybody calls it PRP. Uh-huh. Um, and essentially, we use platelet-rich plasma to change that back. For example, if people have arthritis in their knees, mm -hmm. cartilage is being built, cartilage is being torn down. And people with degenerative arthritis, it's being torn down faster yeah, then it's than it's back. being rebuilt. So we're trying to change that back to where it should be, uh -huh. or at least relieve some of the pain and inflammation that's going yeah. on there. But what platelet-rich plasma is, is for example, we will take someone's blood, somewhere around two to four ounces of blood, mm -hmm. We will process it to isolate the specific messengers, or what we call cytokines and growth factors, cytokines and growth factors, uh -huh. which will tell the regenerative cells what to do. And what you're trying to do is, besides getting rid, rid of pain and inflammation, mm -hmm. we're telling the regenerative cells in the in the chondrocytes, which make cartilage, yeah. to go the other direction, to hopefully to build that back that. And and it's just a fantastic treatment. So why use PRP over other options? Well, well, PRP, the beauty of PRP is that we can use it to treat conditions normally you couldn't treat. Uh -huh. For example, uh, tendon injuries and ligament injuries. Um, and you can't really inject a tendon with cortisone or yeah. steroids because they tend to rupture or, or disrupt. Those things we couldn't treat before, we can, there, and there are studies that show that you inject tendons, they will not only get rid of the pain, mm -hmm. they will remodel and, and regenerate. And this has been shown following MRIs, for example, in, in the tendons and the knees. Yeah. Um, Which are all very common things that right. affect folks. Plus we can, and other common things, unfortunately, is degenerative arthritis. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about that is we can use your own body to, to help. fix a problem. And mm -hmm. it's natural, and, and it comes from and you. And it regenerates as well? Yeah. So and that's, the, that's the beauty of, of it. it. And, and it's one of those things we take for granted. And I, and I always say that, that our bodies are so amazing. 
why is it so surprising that the answer to medical problems are already in it? Yeah, rely on yeah. us. Yeah. It, it, you just have to figure out how to how to use it and exactly. tweak it. Exactly, and, and that's and that's why and and regenerative medicine is 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 evolving. We're getting better and better and better at it. And we're and, and we're and the beautiful thing is that we're keeping people from getting surgery. We're mm -hmm. we're prolonging surgery. We have many people that were told five years ago that are bone and bone in their knees that they needed knee replacements. Five years later. They're fine. They're just getting injections, just Which reversing all the process. sounds wonderful, especially someone who does have knee issues. Where can people go for more, more uh, information about this? Well, we have our website, uh, kneepainflorida.com. Uh -huh. um, or we're right up here on Main Street, 1990 Main Street, uh, Greco Medical Group. Sounds good. Well, hopefully some folks will check that out. It sounds like a, a problem that a lot of people could have fixed pretty easily. Yes, it is. So thanks for so much for joining us today. Thank you. Great, great for having, having me. <laughs> And next on Suncoast FYI, it's time for Studio South's Fitness's Corporate Challenge, and we'll have the details next, so stay tuned.